will try to understand what is the input and output. Just by name itself, you can see something we have to we have to provide as an input, something we will get as an output. This is common layman way we can understand. But exactly in reasoning way, how to define and how to conceptualize this concept mathematically and linguistically. This method will convert a random set or collection of items either in the form of numbers, alphabets, words or commands. I think now you are able to understand how much it can be extended. Maybe it is a set of commands for a computer operation. It can be given as an input and that set of commands can transform based on the movement and interchange and you will be able to get the desired output. Now you can understand if you are a programmer, this is one of the fundamental knowledge you must know what is the input and what is the output. Based on any particular input, how you can convert a desired output. Many of the things we can keep in place of uh, these items, maybe numbers, alphabet words or into, into a meaningful and desired output. Sometimes by default, we can make some meaningful output. Like if nothing is given, we have arranged the numbers in the form of ascending order or descending order. It, it is giving some meaning. But if it is not given any particular trend, then what we have to do? We have to just follow the instruction of the questions, whatever given. It may be meaningful, not meaningful, we are not worried. That instructions is given in the question, we will just follow. Pictorial way, we can represent in very simple way, as per my understanding, because I want to understand everything in simplified format. I am not... I'm not interested to make it further complication. I, I'm always interested to make it simplified. If things are complication, break it down to a simple form. This is your set of random numbers. We have to apply some methods or transformation of the elements and we have to get desired output. This is your overall process. Now just suppose in the case of numbers, desired output can be descending or ascending order. These two are famous output or you can say typical kind of output, but not always. How many kind of typical desired output can be? Simple, common sense, no need to worry, no need to uh, think like as so oh, many theoretical points are there, are so many uh, terminology you have to understand, nothing, just common sense I'm, I have written in the form of tabular format. Desired output, if it is a number, then two possibility, this is ascending or descending, I'm just telling you, uh, just a typical output. It is not always only ascending, descending. It can define anything. If it is alphabet again, alphabetically or reverse of alphabetically. If it is word again, alphabetically or reverse alphabetically or many of the times we will find it is a combination of words, alphabet, numbers or numbers or numbers and alphabet and number of words, multiple combination. Then you will get multiple combination of ascending, descending or combination of ascending, descending, or it is jumping of the numbers, whatever will be there. We'll look. Now, we'll come to the second aspect of input output. First aspect we understood that is desired output. How to get desired output? That will depend on the transformation or methods, whatever we are applying. Mainly two transformation methods are most used. What I told, one is movement of element, another is interchange of position of element. Just we'll see based on this example how these two are different from each other. Like just suppose if input is in the order of D, I, F, H, E, G. If no instruction is given, we'll try to arrange in ascending order. Means lower to higher number, lower to higher alphabet. What we'll do? D is already in the best position, like first position and D is the lowest numbered alphabet in these set of input then what we will do we will not touch d afterwards after d what is needed e where is e e is here e must move here if we are doing the movement of element then what will happen between d and i you just sandwich the e like this remaining position will as it is i Afterward, F, H and E will replace P, G. Now, these two are perfectly in the position. We will not touch. D, E. Afterwards, we need F. Means F we have to push here. Means we will make like this. I, G, H. Again, after F, we need G. We will push here. 
then it will come D E F I H one more step step four D E F G H I it is perfect ascending form this is movement of element what we are doing which position any particular element is required or needed as per the instruction just will move that position and remaining order will not change remaining order will not disturb how many steps will take will count the steps and accordingly output will decide but in interchange two elements will interchange their respective positions like input is same whatever we have taken example d i f h e g now here d is perfectly fine no need to touch next we need e means in place of i next alphabet must come e what will do will just interchange i and e d e i h come here among h i g after f we need g means g and h must be interchanged then it will become g i h again i and h must be interchanged in interchange you got the desired output in three steps only but in movement of elements same output you got in four steps this is the difference now we'll come to the another interesting point for this session that is methodology of solving the questions because scope of the scope of framing the question are so high so vast if we are not following any particular sequence of steps we can land up in a problem then what we will do maybe any kind of problem related to input output will follow the step by same you will follow the same step for solving the question what is the first step first step is compare input and output in the example whatever given and observe in the final arrangement means input output whatever given given in the example and accordingly what can be the final arrangement second step notice the pattern of movement and transformation you must notice the pattern of movement and transformation if an element automatically at designated position like we have seen in example here like d was already in the designated position then leave as it is without any transformation